Africa, the soul, and welcome to Triple M. Make Monday matter with King and me. My name is William Zulu Moses Mzolo because I'm Nande Okolo Mezo. Lord, I'm super pumped and excited for your future. Yes, your future. I want to come and tell you today that God has got such an amazing plan, future, and destiny for you. So stop doubting. Stop doubting what the Creator placed. On the inside of you, I want to tell you that you were created, listen to me, that you were created to be great in this life. In this life, you were created to be great. For God desired to do something, therefore He made you. He made you, that you have a purpose in this life. So I want to briefly come and talk to you and tell you that, that there's a huge difference between ambition and vision. There's a huge difference between ambition and vision. There's so much more to life. Listen, there's so much more to life than you just living in a big house and having an ambition to drive a nice car. No, no, no. You're here for a bigger purpose than that. That the vision that God gives you, the dream that God gives you is not for you to go and hoard all the power. No, no, no. But it's to serve is to build up others is to develop others is to enrich others Jesus said to his disciples listen he said to his disciples that whosoever wants to be great must become a servant whoever wants to be first must be slave to all notice that Jesus Christ did not rebuke his disciples for wanting to be great so stop putting on a mask stop with this false humility thing that oh no I don't want to be great no 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 you are created to be great in this life. Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Messiah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, did not rebuke His disciples for wanting to be great. In fact, He gave them advice on how to become great. Like we spoke about last week, Monday, you are a leader. You are a leader and we lead not through dominating other people. No, 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 no. We lead through dominating through the gift which God has placed on the inside of us. God has given you potential. He's given you gifts, talents, and skills. It's right there on the inside of you. It's trapped there on the inside of you. And that needs to come out. Like we said last week again, that it needs to get married to the right attitude. Once that happens, once that marriage takes place, you become unstoppable. And the thing is, the enemy is completely petri petrified and terrified by you coming and receiving the realization, revelation that you were called to be great in this life. That now is your time to shine. That whatever God has placed on the inside of you, that now is the time. Let His love just compel you to go out and make a difference in this life because you are not here to just make a living. Just to pay a couple of bills and then just go through life day by day, month by year, month, year by year. No, 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 no. Why are you studying? What is the purpose to you studying? What is the purpose of you going to that job? What is, what, what is, what is the purpose? What goals are you setting for yourself? Are you being intentional with pursuing that God-given purpose that God has predestined you to walk in? Or have you become trapped by society? Because society is always telling you not to forget where you came from. You need to move forward in your life. You cannot be stuck in a rut. God is always moving. God does not sit with the war, with the rather with the with the sitters. He walks and moves with the movers. You need to start initiating change. Or otherwise, change will initiate you. And you'll become, you know, who society says you are, instead of becoming who God has called you to be in this life. You are a problem solver. Listen to me. Yes, you that's doubting yourself. You are a problem solver. You are a problem solver. Therefore, God placed that purpose on the inside of you that is given you that vision to go out and make a difference and to serve the people in this world, in this present moment in time, to serve them the, the, the gift that God and the resources God and the skills that God has placed on the inside of you. Your life has purpose. Your life has meaning. You are valuable. For God desired to do something. Therefore, He made you. You are a difference maker. You are a difference maker. Stop chasing the titles. Stop chasing the positions. Stop chasing the achievements. Seek God, His kingdom, His righteousness, and all the other things will be added. Because once you start seeking Him, once you get on your knees, which I in fact dare you to do today, to get on your knees and allow Him to show you who you really are. 
to show you who you really are because once you see who you are, who God created you to be, and you see the Father for who He really is and who He wants to be through your life, it changes everything. It changes everything. That vision, that dream, that desire that God has placed on the inside of you is necessary for this generation. It is necessary for this generation. Stop snoozing on those dreams God has given you. It's time to go. It's time to pick up your mat and walk in Jesus' name. Now is your time. Stop waiting on people. Now is your time. The only thing or person that you should wait on is God. He is the only one that you should wait on. And Jesus Christ, before He left this earth, He said, Go. He said, Go. So go and start something. Stop complaining. You have no right to complain if you yourself aren't willing to go to make a difference and change what is affecting humanity. Not what's affecting you, what's affecting humanity. Know that you are a leader, that you are loved. You are accepted, protected and perfected. And now is your time. This is Make Monday Matter. Jesus loves you so, so much. I love you guys so much. Like, share, comment, do what you got to do. But more importantly, know that you are a chosen people, a holy nation, a royal priesthood, God's special possession. So know that you are loved. Stay awesome. Until next time, guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.